the best record in NBA 2K21 is owned by me. I am currently, what am I? 400, almost 402, and I will give you guys all the tips to get a record like this. Let's get it. Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Chad. Yeah, back on the banger and in today's video. I am going to tell you guys all the tips on how to get a really good record in NBA 2K21 and how to win most of your games and honestly just dominate the park in general. I average 18 points a game with a 99.5 win percentage as of today. And I'm super excited to drop this video because I know you got a lot of you guys in the streams that like watch me and like how do you win so much games. And I'm gonna give you guys all the tips that I know to help you guys get better as a player and just as a better, I don't know, scorer overall in NBA 2K21. And these are my stats as you guys can see. And I know I don't pass, but like, if that's how I win games, honestly. So there's multiple tips I'm gonna give you. And the first one I'm going to start off with is the lineup. I only play twos. If you guys play twos as well, it's a good video for you. If you guys play threes, it still help you. It'll, this video will still help you, but like maybe not as much. But for twos, the best lineup, hands down this year, as you guys can see, I'm a play shot. Is play shot and paint beast. A 6'8 paint beast pure red is the best center build. My play shot build is the best and really it dominates. You can shoot any shot you want literally fades um three pointers you can shoot any shot with this build and the center will get i guarantee you will get the board that 16 paint piece is an animal and i get so many rebounds in the best line of hands down if you want to have a good record is the paint piece play shot and the second thing i want to tell you guys is shooting this year is really really overpowered you make every single shot but it's especially overpowered if you shoot with the right stick now i have a whole video on this teaching you guys how to shoot with this right stick so if you guys want to check it out go ahead and check it out i dropped like probably like three days ago but all you have to do is go to controller settings go to shot meter turn it on and shot aiming shots and layups so all you do is when you go up for a shot or when you have open shot with the right stick down and it will give you a meter and you have to aim it into the middle and if you if it's in the middle it'll be green every time and you make all your shots trust me put on shot meter shot aiming it will change your life you will be able to shoot a lot better standing or fade doesn't matter it's just a 10 times better way to shoot the ball in nba 2k21 now that being said shooting obviously is hard this year if you don't have a lot of bads or hot spots so another thing that's really important is hot spots and if you don't have them make sure you do get them so hot so hunter will kick in now to check if you guys have hot spots you go to my minutes and you go click on your name right stick in and lt three times hit x until you go to park and as you guys see i have hot spots everywhere in park and this is what yours should look like if you want to be able to shoot the best as well you guys really need to make most of your shots because hot spots are super overpowered in nba 2k21 if you have hot zone hunter hall of fame and you shoot from hot spot you are not missing the green window opens up huge you literally will green most of your shots if you have hot zone hunter so make sure you guys shoot from, make sure you guys have hot spots if you guys have neutral spots it's okay if you have cold spots that is not good you're probably not making a lot of shots so focus on getting that cold spot gone but get hot spots asap rocky and trust me you will be a lot better player and score a lot easier in this game now the fourth thing i would gotta tell you guys if you guys don't really have a lot of badges as you guys see i have all my shooting badges almost all my playing league badges if you guys don't have a lot of badges in this game I would check out playing my career to get at least like six to eight shooting badges and then getting like at least four to eight um, playmaking badges. And this will help you, especially your play shot. I'm talking about play shots, obviously. But this will help you shoot a lot better in this game because you will not be able to shoot if you don't have like hot zone hunter or range center. If you don't have those critical badges, you won't be able to shoot. So check out my career if you guys don't have a godly record or if you guys are having trouble and losing games in the park, check out my career and do get a player better, higher overall, more VC, stuff like that to help you improve in park because it doesn't just stem. You can't just go to park and dominate if you're like an average player. You got to practice in my career, some, some shit like that to make your player better and you better just in general. Now, also, like I said, badges. You guys need badges and the best badges to go with are the five Hall of Fame I have right now. And... I really, really suggest this year the order I'd go in if you get your first shooting badge, rainy extender, and then two and three are hot zone hunter and difficult shots. If you have hot zones, I'd put on hot zone hunter. But if you don't have hot zones, you shoot a lot of fades, I put on difficult shots. But these badges are imperative to shooting and winning games in NBA 2K21. And I really suggest you put them on. Like, definitely don't put on like catch and shoot. A lot of people put on catch and shoot and like hot start. Like, these badges are good, but these badges I have in Hall of Fame are literally necessary to win and shoot well in nba 2k21 and if you guys watch me i really don't miss a lot of shots so i definitely put these on for 
sure. And I also want to talk about, I, I'm going to put a clip on the screen of just me just playing Park 2s. And look, I'm going to be playing, and this is how I play every single game. I just run around a screen and shoot a fade, and I'm going to show you guys. This year, fades are so overpowered. Like, you can literally shoot a fade from anywhere, green, as you guys can see on the screen. I will green all my fades I take, and if it's not green, honestly, if you have badges and you're shooting a shot stick, it's going in. Fades this year are super OP, so if you're playing twos that play shot paint piece, put on Devil Shots Hall of Fame and shoot a bunch of fades, and you'll get hot spots quickly, and you really won't miss, and it's a super effective way of scoring and winning in NBA 2K21. And another big thing, at least for me personally, another big thing for me personally was playing with someone that you have chemistry with. If you just hop on the court with random people or someone you really don't like know, it's not going to be a good time because you don't want, don't play with them often, or don't know them at all. And it's going to be tough to play with someone that you can't communicate with or just don't know a lot about in the play style. See, I play with probably like the same three people, three, same three, four people every single day, and I know exactly how to play and they know exactly how I play. And we just like, our play styles work really well together. And if you don't have that, it's probably really, really hard to win games in NBA 2 21 against teams that do have good chemistry and good like play styles that fit together. And the last thing that I'm going to say to you that really I did a lot, obviously, <laughs> obviously I did this a lot, and you guys should too, to make you better players of the game is play NBA 2K21. And I have, as you guys can see, 400, like I said, 400 games played. I have exactly 400 games played, and I know it's a shit ton. And if you don't play a lot, you're not going to get better at the game. You're not going to improve. The more you play, the better you get, and the more comfortable you're going to get playing this game. And if you only have 30 games played, you're not going to be amazing. You're not going to be knocked down. But the more you play, the better shooter you'll become, the better player you'll become, and overall just get improve at 2K, 2K21 in general and just see your stats go up like crazy and that's really my last tip of the video hopefully this video helped you out and hopefully you guys learned something from this video and yeah so it's chad df um signing out i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next video everyone have a great rest of your day peace